Hey, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Today I'm watching a new show with the help of the pick reel. So I'm gonna be spinning right now. I don't know what I'm watching. I'll timestamp it so you can skip to the reaction or just like watch and see what's on the pick reel and whatnot. There were seven things on it, so I just randomly picked from a list that's not on the pick reel to add it to make it to ten. And um just other things not on the wheel. I would show it, but I really don't want to. Let's just spin the wheel, get on with our new show. I want it to be something short. But I'm open to watch anything because I had reactions for other things when I first when it first landed on it. I'm like, I'm not sure I'd like it, but it ended up being something I really love. Had you been Anyways, so yeah, now that further ado, I'm not even recording my screen. Hold on. This won't be the only time I'm spinning the wheel though. I'm gonna be watching something else again. So we'll have two chances for whatever is on here to be picked. So Majority of the shows I watched on my channel were spun through this. I forgot what this one was. I think I took it off and I'm like, you know what, let's just watch everything that was recommended. Like, I'm not gonna be that way. So we have first season, second season, third season, each with 23, 21, 21, damn, that's a lot of episodes. So like, it should be good. Watch its ratings, seven, eight, seven, like overall. So that's not bad. Let's just, I'm gonna read the synopsis and then we'll get into it. I love starting something new, so I'm excited just in general for today. And they think it's gonna be eating a can because well, they expect it to be. I doubt he was really like that. The cover does not... Yeah, look at this. Being forced to work on a tuna fishing route. He doesn't really have to. Let's take it to court. Oh, he's the one. I saw in the opening. Do we not get to see his parents? It's just kind of like, we just have to accept his parents sold him off and now he's here with no conversation between them. That sounds very demonic. I doubt he's as, um, his person is like this for the whole show. The start of this was very abrupt. I thought we'd get to see a little bit of his life before he was dragged here. I understand him and like it, it being hard to say no. He can't say no. <laughs> I think it would have been funnier if you see his attitude when he brought him here, how he seemed so evil. If he was actually for the first time gonna say, actually, I don't think I want to. And then he responded to him like, you have no damn choice, boy. <laughs> They just wanted to get straight to the demon school, bring out all the demon students, and start that way. I really wanted to see his life before this happened. What was I expecting? If, I mean, I have not, like, if he's underage and he's not enrolled in school, and he's not even being homeschooled, people would investigate that. They wouldn't just let it, I, I mean, here, you have to go to school. Yeah, something like that. And I, I actually seriously think he would have because his parents sold him off. What are you supposed to do with him if he's not going to do what you want? So you would eat him then. I wonder if there's like a, a deeper plot to him just being in this demon school. I think actually what he's thinking of is the next demon king. And for some reason, he wants to be a human. You know, I never even took it in that it would look like three, six, 
taxes when you do that. Interesting. It'd be interesting too if like he died and that's why he's here. Oh, everyone's just like strictly a demon. I'm thinking we have like different races here, but they all have the same wings. So yeah, they're just... Can't you like make him look more like one of you? Kids look, look like the bullies. Or more like a, a committee that, I don't know. They look cool though. He's just all blue. Not really cool looking. He really won't stand out, but then they're gonna find out, I think during the ceremony, cause um, he's what, the headmaster, chairman, whatever they say of the school, so. He knows nothing. You could have brought him earlier instead of the day before school starts. Oh. <laughs> uh, everyone else. Asmodus. That. I think it reminds me of Amodeus. Can't really spell. Um. Everyone looks cool than him. It was better design. It's all. It's always like that, huh? Wait. What? <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm not reading all this. It's like so everywhere. What does that mean? Oh my goodness. He says, I send this message to you so that you won't trip and fall throughout your upcoming... Don't tell me he's reading this. Could no one speak this, this language? That's what I'm thinking because he can understand them now all in Japanese. So he could have... We could have heard it in Japanese, but now he's speaking something else. <laughs> he's cursing them, bro. Oh, he did it! <laughs> what the heck? Wait, is that like invincible? If he's like one of the smartest students, I'd expect him to be more composed, but this is a demon school. <laughs> Gonna body slam him. Suplex him. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually, it's funny. Well, you're fit to be the next Demon King. So each episode, one subordinate, another subordinate, this much subordinate. Maybe. But three seasons? That's insane. I wonder, like, what happens to... In those seasons like does he actually get powers of his own does he actually have to fight someone to protect like the the demon king uh position <laughs> oh if he's gonna act like this that's funny too oh his voice is so damn deep he's not playing that is bad luck towards yourself Okay, like this is what I expected. Not what I expected, but I wanted, but I didn't expect, so okay. <laughs> and he's like four, wow. Oh, that's, that was not the last episode, like the commercial thing, he said EO. So, uh-huh, that's basically him. It explains him. Um, I would question what is on my plate because you guys eat humans. All the stuff he already bought, so now he can't say anything. He's walking like everyone else flies, so that's one indication that he's different. 
Either way, you're still trash. <laughs> you should have said that. Why is this thing so scared? So it doesn't really take any of your own magic. It's within. <laughs> That's why the thing was scared. It happens every time. I can fix him. I feel like his thing's not just gonna be powerful because of how unlucky or lucky he's been or how everyone can be convinced, but I think it's gonna be something that no one really has gotten before and then they're gonna think it must be powerful because it's so rare to get something like that. That's why it really does it for you. First of all, getting me to bite my finger would take a while. I was thinking too, yeah, you'd be happy too. I think misunderstandings like this that's been happening since the first episode, it's, it's pretty funny. Like, it'll always be funny to me. As long as they're not annoying misunderstandings. Like in romance shows. Oh, shoot. So then he might get something crazy. He And he would need, like, the most protection, you know, given his past. So it would be something that would really protect him. Oh. <laughs> they would want him to retry it because, like, that is unheard of within the show. But I feel like he's going to do it because what he said about familiars, how, like, if they don't follow the pack to take care of da da da, then. And he did summon him. Why should they find out he's human though? It's so embarrassing. So, <laughs> it's like disrespectful since they really think he's a demon. It's like you really have the audacity to summon another demon. A teacher at that. Episode done. Weird to end it on her. I like the ending song a lot, <laughs> more than the opening. They be cute, they be cute, they I can't even hear myself. That's exactly what happened in the episode. Oh my goodness, ah, the mirror breaking is bad luck, and look what happened to him. And I was talking about a bad feeling about this. The first student he's actually talked to, besides uh, as because the other girl that wanted to thank him couldn't get to him. Please. Oh my god. Okay, now this is just excessive. Oh. <laughs> he thought she was just crazy talking to her shoes and they look at him. Anything you want? So she does have friends. I thought everyone avoids her because she's annoying. Huh? No, I can't. They're treated like a dog. Ah. Uh. To be honest, I was thinking, you know, having a friend like her wouldn't be bad because why she just pop out snacks? <laughs> and these guys are using her for the same reason. I wonder if she really did. Mm -hmm. That is so mean. Like, everyone else treats her the same way. <laughs> oh, no. See, that's why she's so quick to bring out the snacks. She's like, I have to appease them. I like her. And he's going to, I think, within this episode, it's titled, um, Iruma and Clara? Clara? Um, that you don't have to give me snacks, I'll still play with you. I think she didn't say no on her own. <laughs> I 
That's the perfect response. Perfect thing to do. I like her so far. We only watched three episodes, but um, she's the one character like for such a grand school. The cafeteria is so boring. I guess maybe the tables break a lot because of fights. Look, this is, there's a live or a dead thingy on her plate. Oh, that's so embarrassing. It's been three days and there's still no classes. Why are they at school? Oh, you have to do some real business. Oh, there's all teachers, probably. Huh? I wonder why. You know, these episodes feel like they go away really fast. Yeah. I don't have a problem with the show. These strips were funny. Interesting. Uh-huh. Okay, so that was Mighty Mush the Ada the first three episodes. I don't, have, I don't have a problem with those episodes. Like, they were funny. In interesting. Entertaining. For the time. It didn't feel long. It went by fast. I understand what's going on right now. Like, it's just, just there's no problem really um, immersing myself within the show. I understand why he's here. How he got here. Um, and what's happening now. And uh, the the jokes and stuff like that. Yeah. Hopefully someone's interested in watching it. Like, as long as it's not me. If there's one other person, me and you, let's watch it together and finish this season. See what we're going to do for the further ones. I do want to know, like, what happens to him in season two, season three. Like, ha three seasons. I cannot imagine, like, what will happen then. Hopefully it's not the same stuff, but him with just more friends. I want to see, I don't even know, I'm, I'm not trying to take this show like too serious, try to put like real plot forward, but I just wonder like if you're having three seasons, what are, what's going to happen to him and within school and the grandpa, stuff like that. But yeah, um, so every, oh yeah, I was like, wait, what? Every Friday, so every week, whenever this comes on, you see, I'll be watching Mighty Rush the Ada until we're done. And yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video because like if you did, that's where I think you're watching and I'll see you later. <laughs>